All right, guys. Hope everyone's fantastic. I'm going to try to make this quick. I know it's late. It's already Tuesday. I apologize there. I just didn't get to it earlier, and here I am. Um, since I talked to you guys last, I, I led last video off when I was at the game Monday, August, I want to say it was 21st. Yeah, it was August 21st. It was 7-6 loss. The Tigers battled, had a lot of fun, but they ended up losing the game regardless. Um, that was a tough one, but I had a lot, I said I had a lot of fun. I also went to the Tuesday game where they won 8-6, which was a great win. Let me tell you something. I went to the Friday game August 25th, 6-40 start against Houston. That was a phenomenal game. And let me tell you something. We were getting no hit through seven innings. And uh, it was a one nothing game. We finally got our first hit in the eighth, but it was a one nothing game going into the ninth inning. And the at-bats just got better and better. And it all came with two outs, starting with Miguel Cabrera. Um, base hit up the middle. Zach McCann Street pinch hitter gets on. Javier Baez. RDI single over the shortstop's head. That turns into a double because of a throwing error. Then you got second and third, 1-1. One, one, two outs with Parker Meadows, the youngster up at the plate. He was ahead of the count, 2-1. He got a hanging slider that was absolutely crushed to right field. For his first RBIs and homer in the major leagues to walk off the Astros and win 4-1. I said Monday's game, August 21st, when I was down there, was the best game I've ever been to. Four days later was literally the best game I've ever been to. Because that Astros game, August 25th, I'm going to remember that for a long time. And let me tell you something, that was very cool. The scene was very good. Meadows' parents were in attendance. The crowd was electric. We were getting shut down all game. I did see some people leave, though. Let me tell you something, that's a mistake. You're, gonna, you're, you're kicking yourself for that because that was a great game. That was a phenomenal game. They walk it off. They score four runs in the ninth to win 4-1. They could not capitalize and win the series. They lose the next two, getting outscored, what, 26-6 to six in the last two games. That was brutal. But uh, they at least they had that moment on Friday, which feels like a year ago because they've lost three straight now. With the Monday night game against the Yankees, they also lose 4-1. Um... You know, you're relying heavily on these Torque Green and Carp. They've, Torque's kind of uh, fizzled out through his hot August. He's struggled the last four or five games. Carpenter's been the most consistent, I'd say, and Green's also struggled a little bit. So with those three struggling, I mean, you got Meadows in there every day now, which is nice. Maybe he's been playing a lot more, which rightfully so. And, uh, you know, Baez is being Baez. At least he's batting eighth or ninth. And then you got Carson, Kelly, and Rogers pretty much platooning every other day. Should be Rogers tomorrow night. It was Kelly tonight. Kelly's not a long term piece here. Rogers is, at least. I'd like to see Rogers play a little bit more. They have some decisions to make, too, about McCann Street, Badu, Abanya. Like, what do you want to do with these guys? I mean, that's entirely up to them, but I don't know if McCann Street's a piece. I really liked how he played early in the year. He's really fizzled out. Verling as well. I mean, I was high on Verling. He's been struggling at the plate, though. Uh, I'm not saying he's not part of the uh, piece, because I think he is. But uh, they have some decisions to make this offseason for sure. Just, I'd like to see them. They have 31 games. I'd like to see them just grind it out and continue to, you know, win a couple series in a row and just show some fight. I know it really is not going to mean anything in the long term. Just, you know, know that you're close going into the offseason and make some the right moves that you can really compete for the Central next year. It's been too damn long. It's been eight years, guys. Like, I'm, you know, next year the goal, the bar should be set at competing for this division. It's not very good, and you should be in the, in the mix, if not winning this division in September next year. That's my thoughts. And uh, you open the wall it's a little bit. You get a couple hitters in here, get some pitching improvements. Um, let's make it happen, Scott. Scott and uh, Chris Illich, please. You got the right eight. Uh, you got AJ Hinch at the helm. I like him. Let's make something happen here next year. Make, be competitive the next 31 games. You know, show some signs with some young guys. Maybe get some call-ups here in September for the uh, White Sox series and going forward. And uh, we'll see where it takes us. I'm taking Labor Day off next Monday. I'll be back on here. So what's Labor Day the 4th? I'll be back on here in the 9th. No, the 10th. 10th. September, no, was it the 10th? No, because the 7th, 8th. I'll be back on the 11th of September making my next YouTube video. Uh, you guys have a great week. 
Enjoy your holiday weekend. I'll be back on here, like I said, not this Labor Day, the following Monday, which I believe is September 11th. Let me double check. It, it, it will be September 11th, my next YouTube video. I might even go live. I think the Tigers play that night. They do not. They have an off day. I apologize. So I might go live that 12th of September. And then Threads back on it. One more YouTube live broadcast for the year. I'm going to end it here, guys. You guys have a great one. Go Tigers as always. Take care of yourselves.